So where were we? Okay. Let's, we, we understand about the plates being delivered by the private jets. So. Okay. Well, if you have the information in computer form, you can send the same information out by phone to one of these devices that we made, and it can remotely generate the image that can make a plate, okay? So that um, instead of having to fly them out, you could send them over the phone line, which is a lot faster. And so um, that capability of the first system that we delivered to one magazine was used by either Newsweek or Time to scoop the other one and get a cover story that would have been too late for getting distribution uh, distributed by use of our system uh, when, um, you know, and that, what I remember is that that one event precipitated getting orders from both Time and Newsweek. Is that, is that jives with you? Yeah. Now you see, I was, I wasn't in the thick of this. You were just getting it secondhand. Yeah, from Al and from Bob, as this was happening. Bob, Bob, did this fantastic thing, which, which, I knew a lot of people in this industry, and they told me that what Bob wanted to do was not possible. Bob did lots of things that were to supposed to be not possible, which was he was going to generate, see, you have a color photo, and what you want to have is some little dots where the size of each dot is related to how bright that color is in the picture. So when you roll ink on it, the bigger dot gets more ink and makes a bigger imprint so it looks brighter than if the dot is smaller. Okay? That's how halftone works. And it sort of works like magic. And it, you have to stand away from it, otherwise you see all the little dots. Or if you look with a magnifying glass at a picture in a newspaper, it doesn't look right because it's made up of a bunch of dots. When, when you don't use the magnifying glass, you see a picture. Okay? So when it's in color, it was tricky, and the question is, can you figure out how to mimic that process, which sort of happens just due to the optics and physics of the way they do the screening process, as they called it. And that's what Bob figured out how to do, right? Well, that's when I need to tell you half tone. <laughs> yeah, right. So. So, uh, you know, we could do it. And uh, then once you could get the information digital and generate the halftone, you could, uh, the whole process we had where, see, if, if the images are in a computer, instead of you have a picture, if, if you have a picture in those days and you want to send this high quality picture, to someone far away, the only way to send a high quality picture to someone far away was to fly it in an airplane. You could send a low quality one over a, uh, what do you call it? It was a kind of scanner kind of thing. Yeah. Facsimile. You could, a fax, but that was, those were, you know, lousy. So, the, the thing that stuck in my memory was this sort of wonderful coup that we had developed this. Someone had bought one. It was in use. But, you know, most people didn't care until one company when was able to scoop the other, either Time or Newsweek, one of them scooped the other by making use of our technology in order to distribute the plates. They realized they could do it in time while their competitor, using the old method, had the idea, no, this is too late, doesn't meet our deadlines. 
So one managed to get the, the, this important story on the cover and the other didn't. Okay. So the result was both of them ended up buying systems from us. That was, so that was a nice event. Uh, Is that, that better? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, About three more tries and it'll get to perfect, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> from the outside and Al was uh, the day to day but uh, and he told me a little bit already about this the crazy uh, movie group um, from your perspective how did you perceive the, the movie group and what were your thoughts as you saw what was going on because I mean you had to notice what was happening <coughs> yeah. because everybody in the world was noticing <coughs> Well, first of all, <clears throat> I'm a kind of futurist. So um, it was obvious to me that, that uh, you know, there would be feature-length movies that were done, you know, by being synthesized on computers and that computers would be, that, that, that graphic approach would be making movies and so on and so forth. I mean, that, that was very obvious to me that that would become a major factor. <clears throat> the technology just had to get better and better and, and the main problem with computers was they had to get cheaper and they had to get faster and had to have more memory and all those things. But we all knew they were, that was coming because computers were on a, like a timetable. We knew that every two years they get twice as good in some sense. That from Did the, you know that AAA would be the, ones to, the one to do it? Well, uh, why not? We were in the lead. We, there was nothing to stop us. <laughs> and we had talented people, and we had uh, ideas and so on. I mean, my, I, I was on the sidelines, though, but I happened to, when I invented something called the billiard ball model, I was by then a professor at MIT, <clears throat> and uh, I had invented something called a, a, a conservative logic gate. And... Uh, um, at MIT, uh, my work on that stuff, which I did when I was visit, a visitor at Caltech, um, met with a kind of uh, mm, unhappy reception. They didn't like it. And uh, one professor wrote a paper claiming that uh, my work was, uh, you know, violated the laws of physics. And, so, you know, it was nonsense in some sense. And he he's a, was a good guy, and I knew him, and he wrote this very nasty paper saying that uh, uh, my uh, ideas uh, violated the second law of thermodynamics and blah, 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 and then therefore you couldn't compute anything with uh, uh, those methods. So I came up with a... I decided I have to come up with something that is more convincing. So I did. I came up with a way to show that with billiard ball, a billiard ball model of computation where you have billiard balls and by bumping into each other they can do anything a computer can do. This is theoretical billiard balls, not real ones. But you know, two balls come and collide or, or one ball goes without colliding, okay? So <clears throat> the point is, if you say one ball goes this way, it comes, starts here and goes there, or one ball starts here and goes there, or if you have two balls and they collide, they take different paths because the balls have a size. So the balls, the continuation doesn't follow where it would have gone if it didn't collide. In other words, the two balls meet here and go that way. Well, if they went straight, they would have gone on a different path. So the point about it was you can, uh, you can make computer circuits out of billiard balls. And I'm trying to think of a way to convince people to do that, to understand that, because they were being very dense. And I would say, this is obvious. You can, and they'd say, you're just crackpot. It can't be true. 
So I went to Triple I and I said, you got to make a movie for me. And it's this billiard ball model and you have to simulate it. And they made this great movie. I have a, eight mil, a 16 millimeter uh, copy of it. And they did this beautiful job and they showed a billiard ball logic system that I'd specified in operation. And it's just beautiful. These build beautiful balls go along, collide, and bounce off each other and doing just the right thing. And um, that uh, <laughs> defeated my enemies, as it were. That 16 millimeter film has got to be. And what year was that in? That, I know what year that was. That was 1975, when the billiard ball film was made, I think, 1975. And it was uh, monochromatic or color? Or color. Full color raster. Raster, no raster. Oh. This is the, well, this is the FR80. Yeah, yeah it's not a raster. <coughs> the FR80 was a point plotter, although it could do a lot of points very fast, but not a raster. <coughs> you want to mention the specs of an FR80? <laughs> the specs of an FR80? Guys, I'm going to have to explain those files. Okay.